Hello everyone, uh, today's topic for discussion is radiation units. We'll uh, attempt to understand these radiation quantities very briefly and uh, we'll try to uh, understand the concept behind it so that we remember these units well. Now the first thing is, let us assume that there is a source of radioactivity. This is a source that is emitting radiation. So how do you quantify that? We quantify it using the number of nuclei that are decaying per unit time. So the number of nuclei that are disintegrating or decaying per time is given by and the SI unit of radioactivity is Becquerel. So one Becquerel is equal to one disintegrations per second. Now this is the SI unit and the alternate unit to it is Curie and one Curie is actually the number of disintegrations per second in one gram of radium 226. So the SI unit is Becquerel and that is given by one disintegration per second. I just explained to you number of nuclei decaying per unit time and the alternate unit is Curie. This is the number of disintegrations per second in one gram of radium 226. Now these two units are linked by the value that one Curie is equal to 37 Giga Becquerel or 37 into 10 to the power of 9 Becquerel. This is how you convert uh, one Curie to Becquerel. So first we quantified radioactivity that was being emitted from a source. Now the next step is this radioactivity will be getting transferred into the air. So these radiations are coming out say in terms of gamma rays. So how much of radiation exactly is coming out that is given by something which is called as fluence. Fluence tells you the amount of particles or the amount of energy that passes through a media, say a sphere. So fluence can be given as the number of particles that are incident per unit of the area of the sphere. So number of particles that are incident to it by the area of the sphere. So this is just to see how much of uh, the energy or how much of the particles are incident per unit area. So this is called as fluence. The next step is these incident gamma rays, these gamma rays are actually uncharged particles. But you must be knowing that we call these as ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation in its essence means that these uncharged particles when liberated into any media, be it air or be it some tissue, it will lead to ionization of some particles and it will lead to a uh, liberation of certain charged particles. So the quantity, now this again has to be quantified. These uncharged particles, suppose there is a radiation source that is emitting gamma rays. So first of all, the first step was we quantified how much radiation was there, how much radioactivity was there. The second was we quantified in terms of fluence, how much of the particles are incident. The third point is, suppose these gamma rays are entering the liver or say they are entering any tissue, they lead to some ionization. So the next quantity that should be known is called as karma. Karma stands for kinetic energy released per unit mass. Kinetic energy released per unit mass is karma. What it means is the quantity of energy that is being liberated by these uncharged particles after ionization. These uncharged particles lead to ionization of uh, within a media and that kinetic energy of those charged particles which are liberated as a result of this ionization is given by the uh, unit is given by the term karma. So this karma will basically tell you the what inside within this media how much of charged particles are being produced it will give you the energy of that. 
So again, the SI unit of karma is gray. Now, having gone through with the ionization process, the next step is the absorption of radiation. Now, let us again come back to this uh, model of explanation. Within this tissue, certain number of un uh, certain number of charged particles were liberated as a, as a result of the ionization process. These charged particles will be deposited into the tissue and eventually this is what is going to cause damage. So we have to quantify this term absorption. So there is something called as absorbed dose. Absorbed dose. Absorbed dose is simply the energy deposited per unit mass. So this is how much energy is getting deposited in a specific tissue. Uh, I mean uh, relative to the mass of the tissue. Again this absorbed dose, the SI unit is grey and the alternate unit is RAD. RAD stands for radiation absorbed dose and uh, the conversion is 1 grey is equal to 100 RADs. So you should remember that the SI unit is rads and 1 gray is equal to 100 rads. So this tells us that how much of the energy that was being liberated in the form of charged particles is now actually being deposited in a certain mass of the tissue. Now there is one another point that we should understand here that is called as biologic equivalent dose or equivalent dose. What this essentially means is that not all radiations cause the same amount of damage. Now see, a gamma photon was being emitted and on another hand, an alpha particle was being emitted. A gamma photon travels a longer distance and therefore it deposits its energy over a larger distance. Whereas an alpha particle travels over a very short distance and it will deposit its entire energy into that specified area. Now obviously it makes sense that the damage that will occur as a result of alpha particle will be much more than that of a gamma uh, than, than that of a gamma photon. So to, in order to take into account this factor we have something called as biologic equivalent dose. Biologic equivalent dose which is given by H is equal to the absorbed dose multiplied by a quality factor. Now this quality factor takes into account what particle is there and what amount of damage it causes. So if it's, if it's a gamma photon, then quality factor for a gamma photon is 1. So the, uh, the biologic equivalent dose for a gamma photon would be equal to its absorbed dose. But for an alpha particle, this is for a gamma photon, for an alpha particle, this quality factor is 20. That means that the biologic equivalent dose of uh, uh, by an alpha particle will be 20 times than that of a gamma photon and it will actually be 20 times that of the absorbed dose. So this is the fundamental because the alpha particle deposits its energy over a very short area therefore the damage causes much more. So therefore this is why we need the biologic equivalent dose. Now the SI unit of biologic equivalent dose is C words and the alternate unit is REMS. So 1 sievert is equal to 100 REM. What is REM? It is radiation equivalent in man. These values have been uh, standardized for, uh, uh, for humans. So therefore REM stands for radiation equivalent in man and the SI unit is sievert. So 1 sievert is equal to 100 REM. Now this in short is the overview of radiation units and how you can understand the concept behind each unit so that you'll remember it much easily. So just very shortly I'll give you up this summary. The first step in, in understanding the radiation units is the source. There is a source that emits a certain radioactivity which is measured in terms of disintegrations per second. The SI unit is Becquerel. The second step is to know how much of these incident particles are there in, in per unit area and that is given by fluence. The third thing is that these particles when they 
come out in air or uh, when they uh, enter into some tissue these uncharged particles cause certain ionization the kinetic energy of these ionized particles that are liberated by the incident uncharged radiation is given in terms of karma and this is closely related to exposure so this karma is kinetic energy related uh, released per unit mass and the si unit is gray now these particles charged particles when they are liberated they cause certain amount of they, they get deposited in whichever tissue they are in so that is given by absorption and the absorbed dose is the energy deposited per unit mass the si unit is gray and again one gray is equal to 100 rads the second thing to understand is biologic equivalent dose why it's needed because different type of particles deposit their energy in different fashion that of an alpha particle is higher so that uh, the biologic equivalent dose is equal to the absorbed dose multiplied by a quality factor that is one for a gamma photon and 20 for an alpha particle i hope this video uh, helped you in understand the radiation units in a simple fashion if you did like this do like and subscribe i'll be coming up with uh, more such videos in the future. Thanks.